Hola, and in this video, I'm going to be describing some of my daughter's toys so that you get the full experience of um, describing people with, you know, describing words and adjectives and all of that. So I'm going to give you lots of examples. So um, here we go. All right, so our first example is this one. Um, so Aya, TNA, Palo. Cafe. So she has brown hair. Good. Now I would say that her hair is a hot mess, but aside from that, we'll say it's pretty straight. It's pretty straight. So Aya Tiene Palo Liso. Right? Okay, and we'll call that long hair. Ella tiene pelo largo. Now, can we put all of that together? Ella tiene pelo café liso y largo. Muy bien. Awesome. So we noticed that in order to combine our adjectives, we just put them behind the noun, right? And then we combined them. Perfect. So let's go with her eyes. She has brown eyes. So ella tiene ojos. Cafes. Are they dark brown? No, so we'll just say ella tiene ojos cafes. Muy bien. All right, now let's go to our next example. All right, oh, this one's got a streak of glitter in her hair. Perfect. Perfect. I'm real sorry about this. All right. So she's blonde and she's got straight blonde hair. So we'll say that she's got medium or long, medium, straight blonde hair. Ella tiene pelo rubio liso y mediano. Again, all we did was put it behind the noun and combine all of them together. Okay? Now it looks like her dress is really baggy on her here. She must be pretty thin, right? Okay. So we could say that she's thin and she also looks like she's pretty tall because I don't know, she's Barbie. So let's say that she's tall and thin. So ella es alta y delgada. So we just combined those and we put them at the end, okay? We could say that she is a girl that's tall and thin. Ella es una chica. Alta y delgada. So to make that noun modified by the adjective, we just put the adjective after the noun, right? We can combine those. Do that the same way we modified the noun hair or the noun eyes, okay? She's got blue eyes. So we can say, ella tiene ojos azules. All right, perfect. See you later, Barbie. All right, now this one's got hazel eyes and we're gonna call her a redhead, okay? Now redhead is an adjective all by itself. 
So redheaded is an adjective. So she is pelirroja. So ella es pelirroja. She's also thin. So we can say ella es pelirroja y delgada. Okay. Great. All right, now I've got some little people here to help me out also. Let's see. We got this guy who looks like a crossing guard. My little crossing guard here. Um, he doesn't have a beard, but let's pretend that he does. All right. He looks very hardworking. So we'll say that he's hardworking. L S trabajador. And he's very important because he is a crossing guard. He gets those kids to school safely. L S trabajador y importante. Okay. Let's say he has a beard also. L tiene una barba. E L S Moreno. He's also dark skinned. And since he's little people, the brand, he is short, so L S Bajo. All right. Now we've got a let's see. We've got a little people tourist here. I don't know about you, but when I'm on vacation, I tend to be pretty lazy. So, L S Perizoso. He is lazy. How about L? Uh, T N A Pelo Corto. He has short hair. L tiene ojos cafés y oscuros, dark brown eyes. And he looks pretty fun to me. L S divertido. And he's got a cell phone, so LS divertido y hablador. So he looks fun and talkative. Great. Now, what about this one? He's got curly hair. We haven't used that one yet. So, L tiene pelo rizado. Pelo rizado. Good. El es trabajador y importante because um, when my vehicle needs to be fixed, whoever is fixing it is very important to me. El es talentoso, talented. I can't fix vehicles. Um, and looks pretty young to me. El es joven. All right. That's just some ways to describe people. Um, you know, I just wanted you to see some real life examples of describing people. And the entire time I've been filming this, um, my kids have been staring at me with binoculars, so it's been super awkward. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Thanks.